Hey what is up guys, Tava here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create stunning thumbnails for YouTube inside of Final Cut Pro for free. So for many magazine covers like Time and National Geographic, some of which you can see right here, I noticed that the titles went behind the main subject on the cover, and I really like that look. I think doing a cover like that makes it more dramatic and makes you want to read it, which is what you want for YouTube videos and your thumbnail. Of course, Time and National Geographic have huge teams that design these covers, but I found a way to do it inside of Final Cut Pro pretty simply. So here's what you do. So the first thing you do is open up Final Cut Pro, and the first thing you're going to need is an image for your thumbnail. Now your thumbnail can be anything, but you want it to be relevant to your video but also dramatic so you can draw audiences in. So just for example, I'm going to grab this one image of the sunset at night, so I'm going to bring it into my timeline. Now what you need for a thumbnail is some text, so I'm just going to go over to the text browser and simply grab the basic title panel and I'm just going to put that over my picture. Now you can see here that the title is super lame, so I'm going to change what it says just to sunset, and I'm going to go over to my settings and change the font, as well as the size of the text, and then I'm going to use tracking to kind of space it out. Now you can see this looks decent. I have a dramatic picture and some text, but it just really isn't selling. So what I'm going to do is take the bottom, copy it, paste it next to my other clip, and then bring it on top above the text layer. So you can see now I have the picture, text, and picture. And now the text is gone, obviously, because the picture is covering it up. But to bring back the text and hide behind some things like they have in the Time and National Geographic covers, I'm going to go over to my effects. And down under the effects, under video, you have the keen tab. So I'm going to take the keyer and put it on top of the top clip. And in this example, you can see it works perfectly. My text is directly behind the foreground objects like this hotel and tree, and you can just see it coming right from behind. And if you move the text, you can see how it disappears and comes back into focus when you move it around. So I might move the tracking a bit down so you can see it more, but you get the gist of what it's saying without seeing it entirely, and I think that looks really cool. Now let's try another one. Like I was saying, you need pretty big contrast between the foreground and background to make this possible. So for this one, I have me standing in front of the stars, and I will just grab some text again, put that on there. Uh, this time we'll just do a different font because why not? Bring that way up, maybe change the tracking a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Now I'll do the same thing that I did last time, which is copy the bottom, paste it on the side, bring it up above the text, put on the keyer, and you can see again, in this example, it works perfectly. The text is directly behind my subject, so if I move it around, I can see that looks pretty cool. And if I just put it down right here and leave it like this as a thumbnail, now this thumbnail looks really cool, it entices you, and it gives you a gist of what it's about, but you can't see the entire title, but that's okay because you can pretty much interpret what it's saying. And along with this, the text has different options. So if you click on the title, you can go over to the video settings, and change the blend mode. So you can change the blend mode to things like overlay, and it'll bring it down and kind of match the background color. And you can do it to other things like soft light, hard light, and then of course you can also just change the opacity to make it blend into the scene better as well with color and things like that. Now the best place to have this effect is when you have a sky in the scene because it allows it to key it out very easily or if you have some really dark subject in the foreground like these trees that you can see that this title goes directly behind and looks really cool with. In certain circumstances this effect will not work and you might have to mask it by hand if you want this look. But if you try the keyer and luma keyer and just work it in different scenarios with different colors you'll usually find a result that works and looks really cool. So let's say you've completed your thumbnail, you're done with it, this is what you want it to look like on your video in YouTube. How do you get it out of Final Cut Pro? So if you want to export this photo from Final Cut Pro, what do you do instead of just taking a screenshot? They actually have a way built in that allows you to do this very easily. So what you do is go to the Final Cut Pro at the top, click on it, go to Preferences. They have a Destinations tab and what you want to do is go to Add Destination and then drag in Save Current Frame. Now this is one of your settings and you can export it as any of these different types, I like to do it as JPEG. Now you close this and go over to the normal export tab that you would in Final Cut right here, click on it and now at the bottom you have save current frame. So you click on that, title it whatever you want, go to settings and then you can choose what type of format you want to do it in, I just do JPEG, click on that and click next. You can title it whatever you want, I'll just do thumbnail and click save. Now your photo will export like anything else in Final Cut and it will save your image and if you go to where you saved it you can see it as this JPEG image which looks fantastic. 
Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.